This morning we're going to take a look around a Sea Lion S23 called Sea Dragon, built in 2002. This particular one has been powered by a single Volvo CAD32 170 horsepower diesel engine. Nice tidy boat, even with all the frost on her. The S23 does make a really good first time start boat, that sort of thing. Uh, if you want to do a bit of inland work, you've got low air draft with a folding radar arch, um, diesel engine, so for the convenience of um, uh, getting access to fuel whilst on the broads, uh, but yet yeah, you, you can still do offshore work with her as well. Side decks for a 23 foot boat, not bad at all. and access, you've also got this drop down bathing platform. Um, which you can just see there on the starboard side, that drops down to extend the platform. Um, you can see, also see we've got a transom gate uh, to hop down and get through as well. So access for a smaller sports boat is very, very good. Let's take a quick look through the cockpit and the cabin. Okay, so now in the cockpit uh, of this 23, we've got this nice double helm seat nice clear dashboard as well. Specs not bad on this one. We've got our Raymarine CAT chart plotter unit, ship, Shipmate VHF and uh, uh, an SD60 depth and speed log. Upholstery is all original but it's not bad at all. No visible rips or tears that I can see. The layout of this cop is actually pretty good. You've got this dining area here. Um, table will flip up uh, out the way, so you've got then have access to the engine bay below. And a uh, table, I believe, also will drop down. And um, assuming you've got the infill cushion, you can make a, a, a sun pad up here. Um, and you've got the boat fridge is up in the cockpit as well. As I say, tidy, original, but carpet's all in good order, upholstery's tidy, no major rips or tears or anything like that that I can see. It's all very nice. Right, into the cabin. Cabin's a nice space in here. It's light, it's bright. Headroom's not bad here, stood here at the galley. Obviously, you can see the roof slopes, you lose a bit as you go and sit down, but um, you are in the sitting position. You can see this table will also drop down and create a nice double berth. And we've got the infills just in there. It's all pretty tidy. So galley, stainless steel sink with mixer tap. There is a uh, cover, so when the sink's not in use, you can just drop the cover down um, and sort of increase your work surface area. You've got a midships cabin as well. And there's the infills to the sun pad that I mentioned up to the cockpit. You know, all the upholstery is all good. It's tidy. Carpets have all been replaced. This is, uh, has been done recently. They're all very nice. Not bad storage again. For a 23 foot boat, you're getting an awful lot. Storage is really good. TV aerial booster here on the side, along with all the 240 volt controls. Manual Javsco flush toilet um, and uh, shower. The shower head's been disconnected because the boat's been winterized. Look, if you're looking for something to overnight on, or a first time boat, you just want to do a bit some day trips with a bit of, uh, with some facilities, um, it would work really, really well. So you've got decent headroom. It's a comfortable boat. Looks really, really good. And this example, smart and tidy. So she's 2002, single CAD 32 diesel engine. Um, she's got your uh, chart plotter, your depth of speed log, um, all that sort of stuff. The boat itself is a smart example. If you're looking to get into boating, she would be well worth a look. Full details can be found on our website, 
myA.co.uk. Thanks a lot.